Let's take a look at action items in Windchill. And this is one of my favorite pieces of functionality in Project Link. For some reason, it's not used that much. Anyhow, here I am in Windchill on my homepage. You can see that I have a bunch of tasks. Some of these are deliverables from Project Link. I also have a workflow task from a problem report. I'm going to create a new action item for myself. The way that you do that is by going to one of your projects. I'll click the browse button. Here I am in recently visited. I will click on the clipboard to go to recent projects. Let's expand the one project I have created. And in here you have tasks. I'm going to click on that. And here it has a whole bunch of tasks related to this particular project. To create an action item for someone, you go to the Actions drop-down menu. And then in here we can see the command for New Action Item. And here we get a form. Let me make this window a little bit wider. And so, for the name of it, I'm going to just say that, you know, I want to modify assembly and create drawing then you can add in some other information in here you can choose the assignee I'm the only person in this project so I'm going to assign it to myself there are some other optional things that you can specify in here so for example we have a category I could change this to engineering for a priority I could put this at say it's medium I can select a due date let's say that I give myself about a week to complete it and here's some area where you can fill in the resolution again we've got a whole bunch of other information inside of here you could put in an estimated start date and a finish date here we have the percent work complete when this is 100 the task will be considered finished for the status over here i could say that this is yellow to begin with and again you can specify any other information in here that you want so i'll put that at medium risk this is good let's click the ok button and now the task is listed in here we got the little toaster notification saying that the object was created successfully let me close this I need to change the option so that doesn't stay on so long let me go back to my home page and now I can see that I have a task assigned to me and this is a really nice way whenever I go into windchill go to my home page I can see the work that remains for me to do we can see the little status indicator in here as well and so it's a really great way of keeping track of the work that you need to do inside of windchill by assigning action items to you you or to other people. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.